Hello, this is Howard Berger, back again with another CTE video. You may have seen some of my stuff online. If you're not familiar with CTE, it's centered, centered to the edge technology. Basically what I'm using is some kind of a morph system of CTE and ghost ball. But it works for me, and I think it may work for you as well if you try it. Uh, as you can see, this is an object ball broken up into three areas. It's A, B, and C, which represents 15 uh, degrees and 15, uh, <coughs> uh, 15 uh, degrees on, on the left side, 30 in the middle, and 45 on the other side. There's also two little dots which represent a very deep cut called the 1 8. These are lines that you kind of think of as the, on, when you see a cue ball in relationship to the object ball, you're going to use the cue ball coming in at a half tip offset to the object ball. And what you're going to do is aim from the half tip offset, it's a half a tip from center cue ball to one of these lines, depending on the relationship to the pocket. So if the angle of the object ball is 15 degrees, let's say it's almost a straight shot, you're going to be aiming at a half tip offset on the cue ball, only using your backhand, not your uh, your hand holding the holding the, the cue in front. From the back end, you're going to pivot over to set the cue ball after you establish, let's say, the 15 degree line. Once you pivot over to set the cue ball, you can shoot. And remarkably, a lot of the shots go in. I don't really aim at the pocket so much. I aim at, at the object ball and, uh, from the cue ball side, and it just goes in because that's that's the fundamental principle on CTE. It's a great system to use. I still, of course, use ghost ball, but if there's some deep, deep cuts you want to do or, or some uh, areas where you just want to make sure you make the shot, I think CT comes in for sure. Uh, so let's get started and I'll uh, go over some uh, shots that you could uh, kind of pick up a little bit of what I'm talking about. So this is a, a basic setup, but just to show you how the CT works for you guys who are really not that familiar with it. Um, the relationship to the uh, object ball to the pocket is basically almost a straight shot, so it'd probably be like 15, even 30, you could almost in interchange between both of them, but let's say it's 15. So when I come in, I'm coming in aiming at the 15 de degree area, which would be right there, coming in from the left side, because I like to do a reverse cut, and then I'm lining up from a half a tip offset, so the center cue ball is right there, but if I'm half a tip offset, I'm right there. So half a tip offset, I aim for that line, which I kind of like see that it's right about there, and I'm just going to pivot my cue to, to set the cue ball, and that's it. That's the basic principle of, of uh, CTE. Now here's a very similar shot, uh, although the angle is a little bit more pronounced. So now I have to pretty much, I can't use the 15 uh, uh, area because it looks like it's coming like this way. So it's almost like a 30, 30 degree cut, so I'm going to be aiming at what, the, what is the B area. I'm still coming in from the left side of the cue ball, aiming at the B now, coming in, and I'm still turning my cue from a half to the offset to center, and you're in. Spot shots are good. They're, they're, you can do this in spot shots because CP is basically, you look at, 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 at the A in this case, right there. So I'm aiming for the A, pivoting over my cue, Let's try one more. Same spot. I'm going to pivot over. All right. Pivoting over. There you go. All right. So typically you have a shot like this that's a uh, going to the side. You know, not a very difficult shot, but you still want to line it up. So this is a standard B. You look at it as a B. You want to go to the side, you aim for the B. Coming in. I'm going to have a tip offset. Move my cue over. There you go. Now, same kind of shot, but now I'm going to try to see if I can make it in the corner. Now, here's the same shot. Basically, I could put it right into the side, but if I wanted to go into the corner, now it looks like a C, so I'm coming into the corner. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is the ten ball. Kind of going to go for the uh, either right side or left side. But let's go to the left side. It looks like a one eighth. I'm going to hit there. That's what I'm aiming. From the half tip offset, and then I'm pivoting over. Thank you. I'm coming in. Uh, this is the ten ball. Kind of going to go for the uh, either right side or left side. But let's go to the left side. It looks like a one eighth. I'm going to hit there. That's what I'm aiming. From the half tip offset, and then I'm pivoting over. CT allows you to, again, a little bit more flexibility in terms of these difficult cuts. So what I'm doing right now, again, I'm not worried about where the pocket is. I'm just worried about where this is. So I'm aiming for the one eighth shot. And I'm going to come in from the right side, aiming at the one eighth. Coming in, one eighth, four, one eighth there. Pivoting over. There you are. Straight shots can be made, with, of course, with CT, but it's, the principle is the same, but you're going to aim for the A. So I'm coming in from the right side, aiming for the A, pivoting over. So here's a, another series of shots. Uh, that I could just show you what I'm going to be doing. And again, I'm going to be just aiming at these uh, balls, setting up the balls. It's almost aiming towards the side, so there is an angle here. And again, this is a B cut, so I'm coming in, aiming at the B, coming in from the left side, and I'm pivoting over. So I'm going to be aiming at the B from the off offset, aiming at the B, and over, aiming at the B. Coming over again. Shots looks like it's almost flowing to the pocket. I could probably play it in the side, but I'm going to play it in the corner. Coming in the B, twisting over, I'm pivoting over. And doing the same thing over and again. Pivoting over. Nope. Pivot over too much. You gotta trust it. Now. One of the areas that you, you could miss on CT is if you overestimate the angle to the pocket. So for instance, if I'm looking at this level ball, and I think it's, a, let's say, A, I'm going to hit it like this. I'm pivoting over, hitting at the A, and it goes to the side, so it's the wrong side. If I go over here and put it over here, and I aim for the C, I aim for the C, and it's going to miss. Because you have to understand is that the important thing is, is the relationship of the ball, the object ball, to the pocket. It must be accurate. So if this looks like a straight shot, it's a B shot. Again, A, B, and C. You kind of, kind of look at it backwards. Aim for the B. Twist it over. Half a tip offset. And that's it. And that's pretty much CT. CT allows you to do some uh, good cuts. So this, these balls are straight up. and almost that perfect good to the dock. So if you really wanted to uh, do these kind of shots, either right-hand corner or left-hand corner, again, you're aiming at the C, and I'm just aiming at the C and then pivoting over. Oh, just missed. Let's try that again. So, we'll do it again. I'm pivoting over. I'm aiming at the C from the hip to the set. And there you go. Okay, let's try another one, and let's try the other side. So, I'm pivoting over from the half tip offset. This time it said, like it's again, 15, 15, 30, 45. So it's, now it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a C either way. So I'm going to get the C, pivoting over. There you go. So now you have a situation where you have the uh, one ball in front of you. But it's blocked. You can't do it in the corner. And it's, where else can you go? You can bank it. But CT allows you to get these deep kind of cuts. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes in handy. Because you're not aiming at the pocket. You're aiming at that ball. So I'm going to just aim for the one eighth, Coming in there. Aim for the one eighth, Pivoting over. And that's it.